Hello there. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. I like to build. I like to play boats, so we're gonna play bigger boats. Yes, it is about time. I uh, haven't had the opportunity to yet, and uh, didn't feel like playing anything else. So it shall be boats. So yeah, hello. Good evening. I hope you're all doing well. And all that. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Say, still shaking off a cold, I think. But we shall persevere. Right, we'll just drop right into it. Stereoscopic range find. Okay. So where are we at? We are the Spanish, and if I remember correctly, last time we were trying to piss off the French because we want to fight them, which is probably not a good idea considering they are, if I remember correctly, stronger than us. GDP 194 million. Yeah, our GDP is only 31 million, so we'll have to be smart about this. I think we started this in 1900, I think. It's been so long. I think so, 1900. Because you couldn't be bothered with the 1819 stuff, because yeah, you just want to get rid of that as soon as possible, because they're not great. They got the over 30 new holes, it was a good game. Yeah, exactly. I, uh, yet to explore all the differences in all, like, uh, all the holes and stuff yet. So, the fact that I've added even more is just, ooh. So, this is my... So, the idea is... The idea is that... At the start of hostilities, I'll block him in. Because I assume they've got loads of fleets outside of the Mediterranean. And if I can block them in there, then that would be great. So I'll have you uh, up here. Okay, so I've got two fleets up there to keep them from invading me, I suppose. Um, yeah, we do have one at Barcelona. So I'm going to move you guys down to Gibraltar. Fame of Atlanta, Infanta, two BBs. Two heavy cruisers. Four light cruisers. And... Six, 16 DDs. That'll be alright, I think. That lots of new hotbots basically monthly. Oh, really? Okay, so they managed to get uh, going that quickly with the update uh, cycle. That's pretty cool. We're doing boats. We are doing big boats, and I cannot lie. Uh, yeah, ooh. I forgot about that. Our tech budget isn't doing too brilliantly. Mm. So we'll see. Including the trans defense capability in the band, the construction of additional battleship. Of an additional battleship. One more is a government ago to discuss the issue. We need one more battleship. We get a lot of naval funds. We don't have a lot of unrest, so that could be fine. Uh, oh, yeah, absolutely, we'll build a battleship then. We can get all that money. Actually, what if we design a new one? Since it's been, yeah, since it's been so long since we played last. <sighs> BB Phoenix. Ah, my shipyard can't accommodate the largest. So, small dreadnought. Stability 58, 82. So this is even more stable, Armour Cruiser 4. Interesting. Interesting. But yeah, if I remember correctly, yeah, our 
previous battleships are of a very much older design. What's the maximum we have? 16,500. Okay. BB's nine for big boat. Yes, it does. Biggest boat. So... Max optimal speed is 21 and a half knots. We'll put it at 21. Uh, no. Hang on, isn't it gonna be more stable? Barely. Okay, we might be able to make a sleek ship. We have induced, we have... Not expansion. Uh, triple expansion. Expansion, that's... We might go for that, we'll see. Yeah, because we're gonna make a really strong one. We're only, we're only gonna make one. So we're gonna make it the most bitchiest of battleships. Mm, that's going to be uh, I haven't got how divers yet. Um... I don't know if I'm gonna have time to play it, but possibly. So it's maybe. Yo, so these towers are new, aren't they? I can't put turrets on them though, can I? Cause that would be f pretty cool if I could. Hold on, you can put my bets on the sides now? Oh fuck yes. Get that one on fit, but still, the point. Can you like... Oh that is, I'm gonna make something so moronic. Seems like only the round bar bets really can be put on the side, but that's, that's fine, that's fine. That's still pretty cool. It's 1904, if I remember correctly, or 1907 or something. Early, early days. Okay, I send line guns. 13 inch guns, Mark II. Mark II. So we have 11 inch guns, Mark III. Uh, I am alright, so a bit idiot. Um, we've got a bit of a cold, I think, but I'm shaking it off there. So I hope you're doing well yourself. Hello there, Robbie. Good evening. So 78%. Yeah, so, at a thousand meters, this 13 inches is 95% accuracy. I, mm, it really irritates me how that... It doesn't make any sense. I think maybe we'll go for the 11 inch guns. 80 second reload. Yes, yeah, we got fire once a minute. Uh, armor piercing penetration. Ah... Uh, it's not that. Doesn't. So we could either do smaller guns that are more accurate and more better, or we could just put the biggest fucking guns on it that we possibly can. They are Mark II, so not too terrible. Considering we're only building one of these. What do you think? Biggest guns? Eleven seems the best. There. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. That the, the uh, eleven inches might be the best ones. But I like big guns, and I cannot lie. Keep it thirty inches on the gut at sides. Uh, we can try and find out. Might have to make the ship a bit wider for it. Uh, can I do? Okay. No, holding. 
controllers. Okay, so it seems like there's only a few places. You can only put them on the sides of there. Okay. Okay, no, I wasn't expecting that to work. I'm gonna have to put the beam up further. Yeah, no, the 13 inches, they just won't fit. They're too, too big. Got them too big. Let's see if we can do the 11 inches. Yeah, we can most definitely put the 11 inches on. That looks so dumb. I don't have that much weight to... So, okay, so what about... Let's put center lined. 11 inch guns. One on the front, one on the back. I have an idea, you see. Uh, some guns are poor sector of fire, no they don't. And then we have a metric fuck ton of secondaries, but they're also big guns. Mark 2, everything's Mark 2. So we can put like eight inch guns there and then <laughs> this is dumb but i love it oh that's great i love that that is such a yeah fill this side with eight yes uh can't put a go back to the middle can i know <laughs> okay, where else can we put? No, we, we need we need the rear gun to be able to shoot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, you can't go on the side. You're probably too big. Or is it just? Wait, why won't you look now? Is it only for small guns? Okay, it's only small guns, but I bet we can put on the side. So... Ah, oh, yes. Love that. Um... Oh, we can have these for... Okay, well, we'll try these. Hold on. Um, what's the button to make it not be parallel? That one. Is this a hot tub stream? Fuck yes it is. Oh my god! Oh fuck, I forgot to mirror them. <laughs> the amount of secondaries we're gonna have! <laughs> Hold on. Then I do... Okay, that's a bit too close actually. Hold on. Um, how's our balancing doing? Uh, four weights, a little bit forward, okay. That's fine. Ah, shit. Um. <laughs> the yeet is the lead, just damn right it is. Gonna have one of you in the center there at least. Um, Spanish best max life motto. Damn right it is. Um, I wonder, can I like move you further forwards, at all? A little bit. Okay. Back to. 
Uh, no, that is only the smaller towers. I could have put these on it, I suppose. So that would work. But I am a sack of asymmetry. I suppose I could put smaller guns on here. Okay, so that works. Oh, fuck. Ship's fat. <laughs> We haven't even put the front. Oh, okay, so then these are not going to be able to have the sector of fire. Okay, so we're going to put it back to where we were. Uh, excuse me, that's not right. Two big guns on the back of the ship. I mean, we have one. Um, I'm thinking we can put one eight inch turret. Are you blocked? No, you're not blocked at all. Brilliant. So you can still fire. Um, we would have to put something smaller up here, like a seven inch gun. Brilliant. Um, hmm. It is too fat. That is true. Also, we haven't put barbettes on yet. So there's that. Oh, we haven't done anything else, so... Um... I suppose... We could reduce the range a little bit. To get a little bit more. Okay. Now, what else can we do? <laughs> we could reduce the armor. The fuck is that the design? Um, I've just realized that you can put barbettes on the sides now. It is HMS fuck your shit. Reduce the speed. I could do... Oh. Sorry, did not want to touch that. <laughs> Range zero, make coastal defense ship. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I guess, suppose I could, considering it's probably going to be in the Mediterranean. I, you know, should we do that? So, it's 4,000 kilometers, but still, like, we don't need all those bulkheads, surely. And we, if we do 19 knots... <laughs> this might actually work, holy fuck. <laughs> so, we want... Gun aiming speed, sort of like, yeah, coincidence and advanced. That's what the medicine option, yeah. So, we have a lot of armor. We have barbets, we have all things. So, we have standard ratio, standard ratio, explosive gun range, I suppose you shall. It's fine. Fuse time, gun range. Hmm. It's getting into the smart games. What about now? Not if you shoot yourself from the low field, it goes way down. Yeah, if um, if you start running out of fuel, you sure. Um, but it's gonna be, this boat's not gonna be far out, this it's gonna basically be the Mediterranean. The idea is to piss off the French and start fighting them and start taking territory in the Mediterranean. That's the plan anyway. Gun range, that reduces our accuracy so we will not use that. It's fine. It's fine! Sorry, Traverse is always good. Um, now nah, we need, we want the accuracy. Foundation on the superstructure and ten inches there. Little bit more on the fore belt, and we're perfectly balanced. Mm.
I'm glad you liked it, Cots. I'm glad you liked it. Does <laughs> it make this burn? Yeah. Maybe we should put only high explosive shells, so we're not gonna even penetrate them, we're just gonna pepper them with high explosive. Um, now, we could also... Should we put lots of... <laughs> Two inches there? No, you gotta block the... Hang on, what's this blood? Okay, you got only put two inches on the top there. I'm thinking... We can put... Seven inch guns is not gonna work. Six inch guns, not gonna work. Five inch guns, eh, no, it's getting there. Four inch is gonna be good. Perfect. Some guns have poor sector of fire. Uh, I don't agree. Yeah, no, this one, this one won't fit. Um, so these are all eight inches. I suppose we might be able to squeeze something stupid in here. Can I like put you all about the edge? That is so dumb. <laughs> By the way, this pre direct no, it's a bunch of guns in different calibers. Yeah, it's like whatever you can put on there, like that's what you're gonna do. It's just, it's just gonna be whatever fits. This is dumb, 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 dumb. How about AA? There aren't any uh, planes in this game yet, so that is not an issue. Fuck it. If I put you there. It's gonna block you from firing straight back, but honestly, I don't think it's an issue. And if we then... Can we put a barbette in here? No? Damn it! I wanted to put a two-inch gun and a barbette there! <laughs> oh, Yeah, this is gonna... We're only gonna make one of these. So if it does go up in flames, then... That's gonna suck. So we also have some casemates, but I'm not gonna even bother. Underwater torpedo chips. No, I'm not gonna bother because we're just gonna set ourselves on fire. Uh, the back seven to four inch just to be nice and nine calibers. I suppose we could do that. Yeah, remove the seven inch. Yeah, so we have in the front, we have one for fishing boats, we have one for our enemy battle chips. We have four cruisers, heavy cruisers, destroyers, and everything. And then we have, if they get really, really close, we have the tiny ones for more fishing ships, trawlers, and whatnot, and another gun for the uh, battleships. Brilliant. Um, so we have some uh, weight to play around with. Uh, we can balance it a little bit then. Okay. Well, we're sort of centered. <laughs> Just to see the flash fires go. Yeah, yeah one by one. Just pa 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 pa. It's the rowboat defenses. <laughs> Add more range back, perhaps. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is I will see if I can. Oh yeah, that's about it. Okay. Hang on. Real Carlos. Real. I don't know, what should be the name of it? <laughs> Real pew pew? Okay, sure. Big Mac large huge. Boaty Mac boat face, you mean? BB Chungus? <laughs> Save that one for later. Save that one for later. I got me now. 
So then we will real pew pew, we will build the ship. How long is that gonna take? It's gonna be 18 months to make. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have elections. Oh, well. Oh, no. Does the pew pew make a good pew or medic, a medic, me mediocre pew? It does all the pew. That's what it does. No, no, no. See, losing speed is not a problem because we'll let the enemy come to us. Because that's how that works. Obviously. Uh, my god, how happy are the French with us? They don't like us much. And I am well aware that going to war with them is not a good idea. I think 25 be uh, economy could be better. Yeah, but we are the Spanish, so having a good economy would not be role playing it properly. The only voice of the enemy does not outrange you. Yes, but with 11-inch guns and what I built now in 1908, I am probably going to outrange most things. Just let the EU pay for it. <laughs> could be worse. Could be Greece. Ah, dreadnought improvements. Lighter dreadnoughts with stronger hulls. Okay, cool. So, hopefully, um, BB Pew Pew is going to uh, be a bit better. And we increase the tensions. Nice. I should probably park this fleet in Malaga. Oh, I've got 13 inch guns. One or two or something. Mines. Because. <laughs> we will save some money. You're the Spanish having an economy is bad role for. Exactly! I'm glad you get my drift. Election is to reset on us, it's good in a way. Oh yeah, I mean, we didn't exactly have a lot of unrest to begin with. Yeah, you need to be, uh, is it I think? Maybe, I don't know. It's across the world. The government wishes to demonstrate a power connecting in every is close to it. What is your opinion? You fully agree with the government. And I'm more careful and not provoke France. They need some more money and time to become ready for offensive maneuvers. Never don't. Fuck them. So finance believes that the fleet needs more destroyers. He is ready to locate it with funds for the construction of destroyers. I kinda agree. Yeah, more money. Smoke composition three. New chemical service that increases the duration of smoke screen generation. Okay, cool. I suppose we'll uh, design a destroyer as well. Kill all the French. We'll we'll try. <laughs> we'll do our best. So we have destroyer one, which is basically just a torpedo boat still, which uh, I don't like it. <laughs> this version will be built. BB only. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, auto resolve. Perfectly balanced. First day, the just fancy TV. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Like, torpedo boat destroyer, same thing. A torpedo boat. I mean, to be fair, these are those tiny ones that you can just piss them out. You make them tiny, like 200 tons. Make them fast as fuck. And what's the 28? 29, 33. So can we do 35? Yeah, but. <laughs> it's dumb. Um, we could either make more. Oh, oh, I like this. Uh, this hull. So yeah, these are the sort of not dreadnought esque ones. Um, yeah, I think, 
Instead of making destroyers, we'll make some very light, light destroyers. If only ramming the damage. Actually, no, it does, doesn't it? It's not just not friendly, so it doesn't do damage to 29. So we can do 30. No, we can't. We can do. No, we cannot. What the fuck? Max optimal speed 29.5 knots. Oh, I don't think it's. Why is it like changing the displacement every time I click on it? It's really weird. Anyhow. 29 knots. If we make it a large light cruiser. Or should we make it a small light cruiser? I'm gonna make coastal defense as well. It's gonna be that. Basically, but yeah, basically that. We're building a ship around a gun. It's the American doctrine. The weight increase of speed, yeah. Even though it's like the optimal speed. To be fair, 30 knots for a light cruiser, that's really fast. Especially for 1907. Yeah, 25 knots, because they can keep up with the battleships. They're a bit faster, so they can go ahead. You just be a majority and make it zoom. Ah, that's true, yeah. Yeah, sure. let's make... Let's make a small light cruiser, because... Let's make a light cruiser that is pretending to be a destroyer. It's my build, my 46 knot DPS. <laughs> Shit. Sir, there are uh, destroyers chasing us. <laughs> destroyers? <laughs> Those are battleships. Oh my god, it's faster than us. Oh, fucking Christ. Um... Yeah, range is fine, but fine. Mm -hmm. Then we have rear tower, we will have... Okay, actually, we haven't changed any of these things yet. Induced, we will have multiple expansion, we will have an auxiliary engine. We have electric steering, we will have crop two, double buttons, we have first bulkheads, other floods, it's at level two, not three. Coincidence range finder. We don't need the radio telegraph. Plus three percent gun aiming speed. Yes, we definitely need it. Um, and then we will put some main guns on seven inch guns. Mark two. Yeah, I think we'll put seven inch guns on. As a main armament in the front. Then we have. Put loads of five inch guns as the secondaries. Then we can put. We could put a fuck ton of. We are. Mm, def we're making a World War II esque destroyer. That's what I've just uh, figured out. <laughs> Name this one the Unfrencher? Damn right I will. Oh. There you go, the Unfrencher. Makes the main gun caliber as low as your accuracy. Yeah, I'm aware. But I'm thinking I want just want enough guns. I mean that kinda works. <laughs> the anti-toad. <laughs> Just ignore the fact that the bridge has been obscured by the uh, the gun. But I suppose maybe they can aim from the bridge then. Yeah. <laughs> gun is gun, yeah. As long as it goes pew. Um, but that engine efficiency is not nearly enough. Um... Neither is that, to be honest. Yeah, maybe we'll just run it like that. And then we need to put something on the rear. Can we put you, like, there?
Let's do it like that. Then we are quite all right balanced. Oh my god, this is moronic. <laughs> wow. Hey, what's your accuracy then? Not great. 20% at a thousand meters. Oh, 17 to 19% that is. Big Miss Morgan's on the side. So I'm thinking, maybe if I just increase the beat. Oh, I don't have the weight. It's gonna end up becoming much fatter if we do that. But if I do, oh, if I do do that, then everything gets skewed. I mean, we could. This might not be so horrible. This might be a good enough trade-off. Oh, for fuck's sake. No. So the engine efficiency is not going to be great. However, we might be able to refit better funnels on it at some point in the future. Or we could just actually switch to three of these. That oh, should put us very... yeah, 92% still. That's fine. Actually, we might conceivably be able to put 7-inch guns on. Yes, we can. Can we put another one on the front? No. Um... Yeah, let's keep two of the other ones. It's just larger by that. That would that would have worked. White guns. Oh, these are some cool barbettes, though. You can make some really cool things with these. Like holy shit. Campaign mode. Yes, we're playing on campaign, and we're making dumb ships, basically. So I'm wondering. Okay, we're just checking if you could stack barbettes on, uh, on top of another then. Hmm. Hmm. So I reckon. Forward. I think, yeah, we'll keep these here. Torpedoes. You can only have one the water torpedo. I suppose, actually, since we can have so many of them, yeah, let's do that. And then we'll move you to the back of there and start spacing the gun funnels out a little bit. to move the four weight offset a bit back. That's all right. And then we're gonna have a lot of second there. Yeah, two inches. So yeah, we're taking HMS prickly, literally here. Huh? We can just have you there and you there because of the barbettes. Can we not because of the f fucking life? Why do we have life rats on our boat? They're just in the way. Can I put? That would have been a bit dumb. I'm not gonna lie. Could put four inch there, but no, let's put a. Yeah, let's put a two inch there. Ship name Solonic the Hedgehog. No, it's the Unfrencher. Because we will remove the, the, the baguettes. Hmm. I'd love to have more two inches. 
but that's not going to be doable. Okay. Let me see. Standard ratio of standard ratio. So, exposition of penetration. Okay, yeah, we're going to have no fuse because fire chance. We want, this, we want the high explosive to set shit on fire. Casemates? No, there are no casemates on this. Stay back at them. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> Semi Marlin, Cache Chance, Upshell Damage, Fight Chance. Pierce and Capped, Chef Use Time, Shell Penetration. Oh, yeah, it's a lot more penetration. Juice Time. Yeah, we'll have those because we want, we want the penetration. We want extra shells because we're going to be shooting a lot. Gun range. Cordite gun range, shell damage, little bit less accuracy. We don't have a lot of accuracy to begin with, so we're not going to fuck with that. Um, shell damage, shell damage. Ooh, plus 75% high explosive shell fire chance. I think we want that. Picric acid. Just ignore the flash fire and ammo detonation chance. Um, I think we're gonna leave them with the hydraulic turrets. Standard. We want coincidence range finder, stereoscopic. <laughs> Make baguettes on their ships when they burn. Damn right. Oh my god, look at this. This is horrible. <laughs> right. So we got a little bit of weight still to play with. Um, suppose we'll balance it a little bit. At least try to. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll say we'll call that good. For the doctrine for navy spray and pray. Yeah. It's basically that. We're uh, just gonna throw enough shit at them and eventually something will stick. <laughs> it won't work. See, if it doesn't work, it just means you haven't thrown enough shit at them. So we have the unfrenched Chris light. So we will have, let's say six of these. Like cruisers. Hopefully a war starts f soon because we don't have the money for it. A ship don't work this much ship. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, top civil local area. Oh, yes. And they're Spanish. Come on, game. You can do it. I believe in you. Also, let me remember to assign where these should spawn, because otherwise they'll be all over the fucking place. I want you all to be... Uh... One inch, yeah. It's fine. That's what we have. Mm. I forgot about these territories. Let's move... Some torpedo boats. Let's make, yeah, 
a battleship, one of the older ones, and a couple of light cruisers and TBs and DDs. Will, will, then they will protect this area. It's not that important. So I think the game is mining Bitcoin in time. Keeps going. Yeah, and it only gets worse. <laughs> Hello, Marty. Good evening. Sweden would like to order real PP class battleship. I'm sorry, what now? But no, sorry, we. Yeah, we can't. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm telling this thing now. Fuck off. Hang on, who hates us most? The French. Okay, we're gonna load the tech budget a little bit. And get some crew training up because we're about to start a war. <laughs> Your mic is not over this day, Matt. What do you mean? Hmm. Oh, the war kicks off. You eating bolts? Mm, nom nom nom. Get some iron in your diet, you know. Okay, sweet. We have a war with France. Then we're going to deploy that fleet there. And we are going to deploy this fleet to the Bay of Biscay and this fleet actually I want down here to block that entrance and you guys are going to be deployed there now we can take up the Training and the crew. There you go. We'll see how this goes because this might not end well for us. Block the suits, but not uh, Gibraltar. No, Gibraltar is getting blocked. We have a fleet here. Mm. Remove San Juan down here, these guys. Hopefully, it doesn't get intercepted by a French fleet. The press in various countries is fully supporting our war efforts, even though we are the one who provoked the war. Because it's the French, everybody likes us. Oh. This is unfortunate. Yeah, one destroyer we can buy. I'm just gonna go down there. <laughs> the effort the French, yeah. How can I? Northern Algeria. I suppose we could. Of course, it yeah. That would be great. Yes. 
Let's take uh, let's take Corsica. Just cause, fuck it. Okay, you're gonna move down there. We're about to break even in our finances, that's good. Okay. We have a lot of elite near the island. Only 16,000 tons. This is not that, a lot, that much. Now we need the Spanish Empire and Wallace launch a naval invasion against France in the province Corsica. The Spanish first fleet attacks on troops are carried on land battles here near the shore. Cool. We will move you up here. And we gonna move part of this fleet as well. One BB, one heavy cruiser, two, three, four, four heavy, uh, light cruisers. No, it's like eight DD esque ships. Yeah, they're gonna be trying to. They shouldn't be able to get past now, should they? Like, the route is... Yeah. Yeah, that should be... That should be blocked, we'll see. Heavy cruisers for like cruisers for two beautiful ones. We'll see. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing with you guys, actually. Ah, shit, I don't know. I'm lacking a battleship here. Oh, well. I uh, only looked at it briefly, Morty. I'll have to have a look at it uh, later, if I remember. Set fleets to invade or protect. Uh, I assume that it is only for the ones in naval invasion, and not necessarily to block the enemy fleet. Hello, Jara. The bold fuck's doing quite well. Hope you're doing well yourself. Let me see. We're gonna have... Okay, so this is where all my heavy cruisers went. Okay. Three heavy cruisers. Three light cruisers. Oh, this is the three, three, three uh, group. Okay. <laughs> Not gonna have a battleship, but that's that'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Doing good, checking on the parts from PC. Ah, cool. Oof, yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, I can see why I want a new PC. My processor is from twenty nineteen, and it's getting a bit long in the tooth. I really want to do an upgrade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> colonial wars appears like it. I mean, to be fair, though, through the entirety of France colonial rule, there has been uh, some fuckery afoot. Ah, huh. Austro-Hungarian Emperor is showing true interest to support us with all diplomatic means. That's cool. Oh, well, oops. Hang on, where is this? Malorca. Yeah, I should... Hang on. Ah, here. Yeah, I don't have anything there. That, that, that'll be right. Uh, yeah, I have all the ships in there with that fleet, so I'll move you guys down there to protect it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Germany 17th state. <laughs> okay, so they're just staying put. Yeah, they can't get past. Okay, so we've locked the Mediterranean down. That's great. <laughs> I've given a hot top stream, I've clickbait it. <laughs> get wrecked. One of the only reasons I like France, the Battle Cruiser Dunkerque. Yeah. <laughs> France does have some pretty interesting uh, boats. Oh. Heavy cruise. Uh, now they have 8 inch guns, 8 inch guns, light cruisers. That's a lot of light cruisers. Okay, we're gonna have our first big battle on our hands. It's Spooky Embassy. Thank you so appreciate it.
Might be the hot tub if the shit was fun along the way. Yes, exactly. It's the hot tub within ourselves. Interesting concept, that ship, yeah. <laughs> Subs for us, Atlantic Ocean for you. Fuck you! I love how the game is like. We're gonna start. We're gonna play the start. The engine sound for all the boats we're loading. What the fuck? There we go, so we have two battleships, they have one, we have six heavy cruisers, they have twelve, and we have twelve destroyers, and no light cruisers, they have twenty-one light cruisers, but four torpedo boats. All of my boats are older designs. Uh, wait, where's, what's the pause button again? That, alright. Uh, so how are we going to... So we're going to split these guys. No, apparently we're not allowed to do that. Really? Fuck, fuck's sake. Let me go here, detach. No. De there we go. So we have a San Francisco, I think they're the same class? Yeah, they're the same class. No, they're not. The San Francisco is a old, old ship. Well, the BB Norton is a bit newer, but not by much. BB Norton's got 12 inch guns, San Francisco's got 13 inch guns, but they're snub nosed. Okay. So. We have three heavy cruisers there and three heavy cruisers there. So you guys are already following? No, you're screening. I think I'd rather just have them follow instead, because I know that doesn't really do very well. You guys will follow the other battleships. So we have three heavy cruisers following each battleship. And then we have four DDs. You know. I didn't say anything. Uh, form around it at large distances. Screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll try and set them to screen that one. And you guys will try and screen that one. And you guys... I don't know what to do about you. Actually, let me send you ahead. At full speed. To the southwest, you guys are gonna go that way, and you are gonna go that way as well. Wait, what? What the fuck? How did I break that? Okay. See. <laughs> this will go so well. Yeah, will it? <laughs> yeah, about that. And I'm, I'm not so sure about that. I, mean, I have a lot of I have a lot of torpedoes that uh, on these DDs though, so that might go well. But I need basically the battleships, the heavy cruisers, to do uh, to remove those. Yeah, these are some heavy heavy cruisers. Oh, I've had the day's first collision. Oh, the carrier is out. Not in the game yet. I'm not entirely sure if they're going to make, uh, make carriers. I think there was some talk about it, but I can't remember. Yeah, I think I speed it up a little bit. He is merged. He's literally merged into the other one. Slow down, you cunt. <laughs> Loud noises! Um. <laughs> I 
<laughs> what? Okay, we have the San Francisco. Go in here. We have the BB Norton. Um, we should probably be on the. Ah, uh, no, I suppose the San Francisco could be in front of it. Then we have these heavy cruisers that are following San Francisco. I want it to be tight, I want it to be very close to it. Then we have these people screen. Actually, the DDs are screening quite well. They're actually positioning themselves in uh, a sort of reasonable pattern. I've like stayed away from using a screening feature because it just bleak glitches out and they're doing like loops around them at Mark Jesus. Okay, full speed ahead. At least friendly damage is in. Yeah, probably for a good reason. <laughs> Like, no, you got this awake. Oh, no. Sucks to suck. I think I want him to be tight. And our head. So San Francisco, we're gonna turn around and go that way. Why is BB me? Is gonna go that way and slow down. We're gonna find out what the cruise speed is. But it's gonna take a little while to execute that turn. Because then we also get to see properly how the Why are you stopped? Oh, no, you're not. Um, okay, here they are. These looks like... Oh my god, look at... I did not know you could do that. With those but. Yeah, I'm doing that afterwards. That's so cool. Okay. Um, what that is, is a problem. Unless I get you guys to turn around. And I reckon I should probably just make... Uh, this is now Age of Sail. <laughs> I think I sh what I should do is actually group the battleships together. Yeah, okay, the BB Norton is still the flagship, that's good. And heavy... Oh, why are you doing this game? Really? Come on. All the heavy cruisers, they're gonna be... Um, screens, these DDs and these DDs, you guys are going to be scouts for the BBs, you guys are, you know, doing this thing. Have you found your torpedoes by chance? No, because your torpedoes have fuck all uh, range. Increase speed. 11 knots might be it. Just the other cover combinations from Napoleon. <laughs> I haven't seen a new movie. Apparently, it's absolutely dog shit. Okay. So, let me. Let's smoke just so we can get away. Because we don't want to get. Don't want him to really get sunk. Now, I know I'm aware it's a dumb thing that I did, that I changed 
deformations after or just now. That's gonna really confuse all the boats, I think. But we'll see. Yeah, they're gonna be ahead normal, and you guys are gonna be loose. Though I think don't think it matters. Because they are a set of screens and scouts. We'll see. Just start shooting. Just you might hit you might get lucky, you never know. Yeah, I don't think that's a DD mate. <laughs> Just look at those guns. The small gun positions, that's amazing. Okay, so on cruise speed is almost 20%. We're doing 11 knots. Let's put it down to 10. See what it is, 23%. Let's put it down to nine. Let's put it down to eight. Okay, so 10 is the sweet spot. <laughs> Think that's beside plus the mains, yeah. To be fair, there are very small guns, most of them, but uh, yeah, for a cruiser, that's pretty much what you eat and what you want. Okay, so Alava has torpedoes that are a bit better range to the. Uh, of course, yes. The one with the worst torpedoes are, is the leader. everyone to just, like start sending torpedoes aggressively when you get within range. Pop the battleships because because the detonation chance. It's only this San Francisco that has torpedoes. Yeah they're shit. Of course. Oh apparently I've started shooting at something. Oh hit something Oh, something hit something. And is this guy? No, I can't see the rest of the ships because of the smoke, I reckon. So that should hopefully go away soon. The San Francisco is tempting to catch up. Though very slowly. Oh, let me see. Immediately spot something else. Okay, so this is a heavy cruiser. 8.6 inch guns and 5, 4, 2, 2.5 and, and torpedoes. It's got <clears throat> 0 to 11 inches of armor. That's. Oh my god, there's so many of them! I might want to uh, try and break that distance a little bit. <laughs> what the hell are these guys doing? Yeah, so that's the DDs are set to scout. Oh, many of them are. Uh, all right, though they're going very slowly, some of them. I suppose they're getting, trying to get into positions, I suppose. So that's fine. Hello, Ram. 
I have been uh, quite alright. Hope you've been alright yourself. So we're firing AP. We are firing AP. Let's fire high explosive. Since we got many, many more high explosive shells than we do AP shells, we might need them. San Francisco should start speeding up. Ah. Turning a little bit. Another heavy cruiser. Let's see if we can try and Hit this thing. Maybe we might have to get a bit closer for that. So slow down even more for our own cruise speed's sake. I'm not entirely sure. It's supposed to be here where this marker is, but it uh, it's not the best one. It's usually lower than that. Oh god, that's a lot of shells. Holy shit. Yeah. Abandon that attempt, just speed up and get the fuck out of there. Yeah, you're keeping them come together, and uh, so that's uh, something, I suppose. And also go loose, because I want you to wrap around them so we can, for the sake of scouting. They try to do these and top them. Uh, I'm gonna wait until I sort of have a proper bearing of where all the boats are, and especially if I can find something that is uh, a bit on its own. Like if this guy is actually as on his own as it looks like, then I might. Um, though I would preferably hit a heavy cruiser or a battleship with my torpedoes. The problem is that the torpedoes only. Uh, the leader has a one kilometer range while the other ones have one and a half. That is not a lot. At one and a half kilometer range, they are gonna have no issues whatsoever hitting, uh, hitting my ships. I love how this one is just charging them though. You know what? For this first engagement, I'm gonna leave the AI to screen and scout for the main force. It has put all the DDs on this side, so there's that, I suppose. And um, we'll see what it what it does otherwise. Like, hey, if I can get them to uh, <laughs> waste a lot of their ammo on my DDs, then uh, I will do. Oh god, they're getting very fucking close now. <laughs> There's a lot. Yeah, they have a lot of boats. 
Man, imagine if I had like multiple torpedo launchers on these DDs. I could just saturate the ocean. I'm gonna have to get fucked like two ships ago. I know I used to. Yeah. It's, I think the fastest I've seen a DD go is like 60 knots. It's doing donuts. Just behind the main force. Okay, this. That one heavy cruiser is just like YOLO. Okay, now all of them are going. So they're on screen. Steady screen. Uh. Click the button second on the division of the base. This ship splits up and forms circular around the target division, attacking nearby threats. Okay, so they are attacking. It's the scouting. Form run that just, yeah. So it's kind of doing what it's- oh no, it's turning around. Okay, so you might have like a maximum range of which is going to deviate from the main force. That's cool. Probably speak that, but you get back here, you moron. No, we wait with ramming speed until uh, we have no other options. Okay, I'm gonna do a hard turn. See if we can develop them somehow. Make them um, split their uh, their fire. I'm gonna speed my battleships up. Then, when we're actually close enough to hit something, is when I'll slow them down. Bit got scared? Yeah, I think he might have. We've realized how many enemies there are. Oh, he's got a friend now, so now he's going out again. Now we can actually see a lot of- oh shit. I've not paid attention, that's a lot of fucking torpedo boats. Don't seem like there's any torpedoes on the water? From either side? No, I could rush in there now and smoke up so they have less chance of hitting. Because, uh, since I'm speeding up my battleships, and I'm in like a uh, intersect speed, the horror course, then I might be able to shoot at them from one side while they're shooting at the destroyers and the other. Oh god, that's a lot of them. Holy shit, that's a lot of them. Stop turning around! It's my right click's a bit broken, I think. This is like, both hold right click is to look around, and press right click is to change course. Oh, he's torpedoing us. That would be a bit embarrassing. Oh, you're fucked. Yeah, the torpedoes might miss, but everything else isn't. Charge! Time to drown the baguettes. There's just so many enemy ships clumped in here. Like... I have a chance of getting close enough. Is... Uh, it's gonna be suspect. Oh 
Oh shit, I got spawn torpedoes on the uh, light cruisers. I think that's gonna hit. Oh, oh, oh no, yeah, it did. Yeah, you just turn, get your torpedoes out. More torpedo hits. Oh, it's fired it, my torpedoes. Oh, dud, of course. Oh my god, it's so laggy. Fucking hell. Hang on. It's there. Yeah, I'm gonna set it to low. Just because of how awful it is. <laughs> yeah, it basically became a PowerPoint uh, show then, didn't it? Armor quality and penetration data. What does this even do? <laughs> it did not help at all. And another dot torpedo. Oh, for fuck's sake. I got one. First, first blood goes to the French. Okay, third torpedo. It's gonna be the charm. Right? It's not gonna hit. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Right. Yeah, one of them hit square on the side, but it's like it's early torpedoes. They're they're shit. It's just how it goes. Okay, these heavy cruisers are very brave. We will slow down to our cruising speed. After a turn, and we will focus. I don't know on a cruise. Oh, they're on low on fuel. Interesting. Oh my god, there's so many of them. The fuck. Okay, so we lost. Oh, now the other BDs are going up, okay. Set them to normal. Set you to normal. See if that what changes that does. Yeah, as your torpedoes are still very terrible. No, uh, yeah, aim at that heavy cruiser because that one. Speed back up again because we want to get a bit closer so we can actually start hitting them. We will switch to auto again, so actually we will. Oh, oh my, us. Okay, we got a 32% chance of hitting now, so we might want to actually just slow back down again. Keep on this intercept course so we get closer and closer, but we should start doing some damage to them now. Oh yeah, okay, we're fucked up some uh, torpedo boat. And a light cruiser. Hey, look at that. Got the is coming in. Uh, I'm what now, sorry? Got themselves close. I would hit them with the sword. That's basically what I'm doing. Hey, we got a kill! Amazing. We got another one! Yeah, because we are. Oh, that's good. 
Because we are outranging them massively. Hang on. Does my heavy cruise is actually hitting something? Oh. Ah. Thanks for the look all day as a good one. Uh -huh. One bot's up, 30 more left. Yeah, we're working on it. How's their... They have like a 0% accuracy on anything they're shooting at. So yeah, if we keep them at this distance... And if they get a bit closer... Our secondaries on the battleships are gonna be unloading on them. I think we're comfortably getting it. <laughs> I suppose that is a compliment, so we'll take it. Oh, this guy's rudder is fucked. It would be a shame if somebody started sending tolling shells into him. Sorry, I mean my game. Hey, partial pen. Okay, we're, our accuracy is so much better than theirs at the moment. Okay, we're gonna start turning to keep this distance, or at least try to. Yeah, 70% accuracy. This next hit is gonna fuck them up. Uh, shift Alt right click is it main guns only. Okay, I'll try and remember that. Rip you. This next one's gonna hurt. Ah, uh, we lost some accuracy. Maybe not. That's yeah, probably because of our own manoeuvre. Oh, okay. Yeet. 50% accuracy, there's four shells coming, at least one of them should hit. And... Oh, yeah, that's a hit. Oh, it's over pen. Unfortunate. A destroyer. That's fine, destroyers are very cheap and replaceable. This next salvo should really fuck up. Oh, especially if, if we land a 12 inch shell on this heavy cruiser, that it, it our shells are larger than any of his armor. If it goes down lengthwise down his ship, it's gonna hurt. Uh, secondary is alt right click. Start shooting that one. And here we go. Catch this. No? Why are we not shooting? I'm trying to have this up, appreciate it. Damn, that game looks laggy. Yeah, unfortunately, when there's so many boats and you can only see half of them. It lags really badly. It's very unfortunate. But it is really fun, so... Okay, 
Are we going to speed up a little bit? Because I think they might be trying to run away a little bit now. Oh, the other BB? Our other BB? The San Francisco? Uh, they're, no, they're in his range. I don't think he's going to hit much. He's too old. He's too old for this shit. But there we are, right? Actually, that's a good question. Where's the enemy BB? Is They had like one or two. One, I think. Right, so that's not the one we were aiming at, but I'll take it. I suppose also another problem with having big guns is that the recoil will upset the ship so much that uh, your accuracy for everything else is low is... Oh, look at that. There's not like a target. That is very true. I mean, they are trying to merge into one another, so... If we hit this light cruiser and it overpens, it will go straight into the heavy cruiser deck and do that. <laughs> yeah, that one hurts. See, are we gonna hit? Ooh, almost. Okay, we're just gonna speed up. If we go on a parallel course and we just get close, well, speed up a little bit, we will get closer, and that's all we need. So oh, oh, ouch! I think our secondaries would like to work out as well. Not done too much. Man, it would be cool if you could see all the people on the boat, though, like running about and whatnot. That'd be great. Like it already shows how the guns are elevating individually and whatnot when they're reloading, which is really, really cool. Yeah, now both barrels are reloaded, they're, you know, closing the breach, they're getting ready, they're taking aim. That was fucking enormous. That was a destroyer crashing into the battle ship. And uh, yeet. Shots out on the heavy cruiser. This. Oh, well. Let's beat over here. Starting the creep up to 70 knots. Loud, yeah, that was very loud. This game has one of those every now and then. But we'll try and not get too close because um, if they got torpedoes on us, we're not exactly maneuverable and uh, very good at dodging them. Um, we might want to shoot this guy because he's getting very close. So I'm gonna train the main guns on him. She said you have to fire a little bit of people running the ship. True, it, yeah, the game would suffer a little bit if uh, you could do that. That's uh, very true. But also, it will be worth it. <laughs> Why are my heavy cruisers fucking off to the other side of the battle instead of... I suppose it's probably because they're getting too close. They have like a minimum distance they want to keep with the enemies. 
But since I'm manually controlling the battleships, they will go close. Oh wait, we shouldn't hide explosives about him. <laughs> Does not matter. He go boom. Fuck it out. But the manual criticism thing. No, I'm uh, I'm letting the auto uh, thingy. I'm, le I'm letting it do work. Safe enough to do that. Hmm. Missing me two ships, the ones with the 20 inch high explosive shell, that was fun. I can imagine, yeah. You can do this. There's some, like, sometimes some real funky stuff happens in this game, and it's, it's just brilliant. Okay, I want you to start shooting your main guns at that, yeah? No, 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 no. Back click, back click. Count enemy boats. Uh, one, two, three, many. That's a lot. Oh, we found the battleship. He is running away. Why are you running? You know what? I am going to go into a intercept course. And I'm going to take you, well, you, 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 and you. And I'm going to detach you. No, I won't let me do that because it's fucking shit. No. Oh, you're probably sinking. That's probably. Why. Yeah, that's alright. I'm gonna smoke up. We're going battleship hunting. Typical French running away from the battle. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say, that guy's getting very close. No, his engine's out, he's not really much of a threat. Okay. Actually, if. Let's not waste the torpedoes on these cruisers. Let's um, just get past them and look for that battleship. And I went from to uh, surrender. <laughs> yeah, I got that heavy cruiser. Any main guns on that one? No, don't slow down. Go at full speed, please. Uh, or is it the fact that you can't go at full speed that is the problem? Found the battleship again. God, they has a lot of secondaries. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, good luck, boys. I'm not so sure that's going to go well for you, but you can uh, give it a try. The game's getting so like I'm gonna have to slow it down now. <clears throat> nah, it's fine. They're fast enough. Yeah, like, yeah, the ones that can go fast aren't going fast. The other ones are, well, trailing behind and getting themselves into all kinds of trouble. No, just send a torpedo at that guy if you if you can. Oh, you're out of ammo. Great. Should that 
If I'm gonna charge the battleship, I should probably <laughs> make sure I have some torpedo ammo to do to do that with. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have destroyers left to do it. Hello, Jacob. Good evening. Okay, they're, they're losing a lot of boats. Very cool. Yeah, the water hole isn't the best one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's about. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. So like two of them are still alive or something? They are distracting a lot of the enemy fleet though, so that's uh, pretty much uh, working for us. Straighten up the rudder. Good evening, Tacoma. Is that game free? No, I don't think it is. I can't remember. I don't think it's very expensive, though. I'm gonna have a look. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's actually quite quite expensive. Yeah, it's like 40 uh, $35, depending on the conversion rate. It's a, it's a very fun game, though. I, I really like it. Uh, 390 in Norwegian corner is, uh, is what it is. Okay, Didi, Kauto and Arietta are gonna try and sneak onto that battleship. I think it's now or never. Heavy cruisers are still doing their thing. Um, you guys should just be retreating. Oh, you see them coming this way. That's even better. They sink. What is this knockoff of all the warships? It's Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, and it's, I dare say, more realistic. Um, but that's not really the main part of it. It's, uh, it's a very different game. It, it's, uh, yeah. Not hot tub stream, man. I'm hot. I'm hot tub streaming right now. These are my hot tubs. I was gonna say, just I want to start. Uh, Maneuvering a little bit so they uh, don't get such an easy shot on me, but uh, then they hit him. So don't think my battleships will have any issues with uh, hitting these or killing these ba this battleship. But it would be very funny if I could get it destroyed to do it. Okay. He's in range. Uh, are we gonna get torpedoed by a battleship? Oh, our torpedoes are out. From one of them at least. Yeah, we got torpedoed in return. Are we gonna hit? We're gonna hit. Is he gonna explode? Dud. Fuck's sake. Useless Spanish torpedoes. There's another one out though. And... 
Oh, it's deviant. The rudder broke. Hey! That hit and it did something. <laughs> oh, that my 14 experience, yeah. <laughs> I know, right, Sophia, exactly. And now my heavy cruisers are finding the balls and have going. Yeah, yeah, it does look a lot like the uh, Polish Air Force, isn't it? But it's the flag for the leader, apparently. How tall are you? 945. I do not know. Uh, can't remember what it is in feet. 167 centimeters. <laughs> Pull and strong. <laughs> Hmm. Tonight's the Admiral in overall command of your task force. Yeah. The Odin short as fuck. No, no, no. You're just tall as fuck, mate. That's what that is. Fucking skyscraper, I swear. Okay, so they seem to be like going in, start shooting. When they start taking some damage, they will then retreat again. That's pretty cool. Oh, missed. You made these gonna be the three musketeers. Same height. <laughs> like the last game. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Get that guy sinking. I wonder what he's thinking about. Me. <laughs> Some angry guy into this. <laughs> well, the four musketeers. BB sunk? No. Oh, fuck me. Yes, it is. What? That one torpedo from my brave destroyers sank their battleship. <laughs> oh, that is funny. <laughs> Didn't even have to risk my own battleships. Jay, is that how you go? It's like a yeah, are you okay, Koma? Are, are you going into a coma? <laughs> Loud incoming, yeah. Loud noises! I suppose it just helps the battleship turn. Bonk. French are running away. Come back here. Like a sleep and angasahiti for about one half weeks until being this. That's fair. Speed it up again, I think. We are charging headlong into them. I'll change my battleships to be abreast so that uh, we can shoot at the ones that are right in front of us if we want to. <laughs> yeah, after the stream. Yeah, definitely not just right now. Should probably go to sleep immediately. <laughs> Take care, Mario. That is. If they just like bum rushed me, 
they would probably have been able to uh, overwhelm my uh, uh, fire extinguishing uh, par uh, parties thingies. Okay, I want you to shoot at that guy with your main guns. That guy with your secondaries. I'm getting very close now, so this is a bit sketchy. They're trying to keep him afloat. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, so he's not. He's not gonna survive that, is he? Well, that one isn't. That one's become a submarine. Yeah, I'm quite comfortable with being yeah the height I am. It's uh though I, w I would prefer growing in height instead of circumference. But uh, you know, I'm working on that. Oh, we got 87% hit uh, probability. <laughs> that one hurt. Small kings for the win. Damn right, yeah. Small penis for gang. No, wait, that's not what you're talking about. I don't know. Heavy cruisers are using the battleships as. Ooh, the San Francisco's got an engine trouble. Oh, bugger. Start shoot at that thing with your main guns, that thing with your secondaries. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you're not sure you're short of your current uh, weight and that can change. Yeah, I am losing weight. Uh, I've uh, gotten down 8 kilos, which is not that much. Uh, it's taken me a long while to do it, but I am going down quite a lot uh, lately. Which I can now fit in 3 XL t-shirts, which has been pretty nice because the majority of my wardrobe is that. So yeah, it's uh, funny how, how that works. Don't stuff your face with too much food and uh, you'll start losing weight. And do some exercise. That also helps. Let's see with your fingertips. I mean, I can almost uh, touch the ceiling here as well. Um, though, um, you know, missing like 10, 20 centimeters maybe. But that's because our ceiling is at 2.4 meters. Stop fucking why I'm gaining stuff. You're the one who buy your salt cookies and shit. Ain't my fault. I'll take your telly in. Thank you. Rochambeau. Gotta give him the bang bang. Okay, we'll turn up that way. And just continue keep Oh the San Francisco San Francisco fixed his engine. Nice. Oh yeah, he pumped it out. They took a hit in there and it started flooding, but he pumped it out. Brilliant. I'm gonna turn up my music actually. Yes. <laughs> the BMI is bullshit and you know it. BMI isn't if you don't move. Yeah, I mean, the BMI is the reason, because mine was approaching... I think, yeah, 40. I think, I think it was like 39. Um... And because of that, I got these meds from my doctor that, that are like appetite suppressants, which are working quite well. And so I suppose they work in some regards.
to the way. We could. That's true. <sighs> the problem is you need somebody to cuddle with. And that's a whole different problem. Goodbye, Galileo. You can die now. Uh, well, my head here. Yeah, he got. Yeah, that hurts. I'm just gonna turn straight into them, actually. You know, battleships are pretty good. They, they, they work quite well, I dare say. The, uh, these battleships have, uh... BB Me has been a exemplary battleship. So I might want to actually want to straighten out so I can use the rear gun as well. I love how all of them are shooting at the San Francisco, which has more armor than the BB Me. That's hilarious. Start turning again. If I'm not turning again, let's move out. I come with danger. Those are the two stratagems. I appreciate it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's a snuggle struggle. You should die now. Bang bang. You missed. How did you fucking miss? Sinking. Shoot at that guy with your main guns and do like a hard turn. Also go behind while well, your engine's fucked again. <laughs> Don't count this mood lighting. As, yeah, it's supposed it does change the mood a little bit. Oh, rip him. Actually. Switch your main guns to that guy, because then you can get both turrets on. Mm -hmm. oh, I think so, because I cut this now, I want cuddles. <laughs> yeah, damn right. Oh, no, I'm sad. Hang on, one of our destroyers survived. You're not even damaged! Where the fuck are you going? Return to the goddamn battlefield! You're just gonna follow the battleships then, I suppose. Taking on some damage here now, they've managed to start hitting us. Setting us on fire. It shouldn't be too terrible. Bye bye. <laughs> that hurt. Turn to the battle, don't be like the French. Yeah, we're fighting the French. They are supposed to be uh, running away. San Francisco's taking a beating. So, uh, there goes that light cruiser. Ooh. 
Okay, so now we're gonna be... Yeah, main... Now we're shooting in every direction. Yeah, so it... It looks a lot like the... Having the cruiser set to screen is gonna be fine, but... Mostly when we get to a point where we have... Uh, battleships that can shoot further. So I want you guys to go that way now. I think it's about the fancy contribution of this lap. Yeah, a lot of some of the year, like um, boat designs, old boats, where they were trying different things about a lot, is fascinating. It's exceptionally fascinating to see how like things change. You have like the look of this thing, okay, early. You have like a built-in pool in the middle here. Then you have a little bit, a few years later, is when they start building this. And compare this to a... I'm sorry, I realised you can probably not hear me when I'm that close because it's so loud. Compare these, the looks of these ones. Wait, what the f... Huh? How the fuck did I put San Francisco in here? Oh, now it's just... Might have to pause it just because it's so unbelievably laggy and buggy. No? What the fuck? Okay, I want you to go there. No? Are you like retreat? Are you like surrendering or something? What the fuck is going on? Oh, not that's not the button I wanted to press. Well, rip all your engines. But why is there like six of you? You have all sunk, I know that for a fact. I'm not- what the f- Come on, game. No? No, okay, it's- We have lost a battleship. Uh... Yeah, it seems like yeah, that's what we've hit. Unfortunately. Oh well, it'll be fine. Yeah, the San Francisco has taken a bit of a beating. It might need uh, some time to recover, so that'll be fine. He's going to sail towards that destroyer, which he'll sail behind, which will then follow me. <laughs> that's dumb. Thankfully, most of our heavy cruisers are still in good shape, so they'll... Uh, The glorious combe, is that uh, Tortuga? No, it's going alright. We, we, lo we lost all our destroyers, apart from one of them that started running away and is fucked off all the way over there. But uh, we did sink their battleship, but with the torpedo, so I suppose there's that. You know what? Just sink that guy. Follow inch turrets, go burr. He is in trouble. Are you guys able to catch up at all or? Ah, there he goes. So we'll shoot at you with our main guns and we'll shoot at you with our secondaries. Come by at Borgasmin, yes. I'm really happy that I put a lot of armor on like the superstructure and whatnot at this point because the amount of small arms fire it's taken is uh yes. <laughs> no, focus fire on that one. And make a tight formation. And turn around there. Because the battleship is perfectly fine.
Okay, so these heavy cruisers have pretty decent torpedoes, actually. Actually, auto target. No, that's not gonna work. Shoot that guy. Shoot that guy. Oh, God, you're really hurting. Three guns actually run out of ammo. Well, I'm passing that is. Yeah, I'm a, no, I'm a passing only high explosive left. That's unfortunate. Hey, fuck you. And torpedoes are going out. Shoot everything at that guy because he might torpedoes in return. See how this goes. And hey, hey! Are the French still floating? Because they have so many boats, I can't sink all of them in very fast. I finally took manual control of my heavy cruisers, and they are kicking some ass at the moment. Uh, so we have BB me, and the other BB is glitched out and is now following this destroyer that is following me, and I can't change it because of reasons. So he's, um, yeah, he's uh, getting out of the fight for a bit, maybe. Yeah, because apparently all these boats that have sunk are still in this division, and it's fully, completely glitched out. Yeah, it's not letting me do anything. Cruisers are getting clapped quite a lot, but they are overwhelming them and winning. Okay, slow down to cruise speed so we can start getting very accurate. He does have torpedo, so that could be dangerous. No, that's not a trying dead zone, it's not working. It won't let me. I remember last time I played, um, I just realized we had those new, um, what's it called? Um, Bobettes? Or, uh, yes, thingies. And I put so many guns on my, like, um, interwar destroyers, it was great. Yeah, he shouldn't be a threat anymore. Yeah, there you go, he's done. Okay, they are all sinking. Uh, La La Villa is... Oh, I can't detach him either. Oh, I can move him into this group. Cool. Yeah, that's good. Um, he should be able to break off a little bit then, or not. Yeah, he'll follow these ones. I think that'll be alright though, like, all these engines are knocked out. But they've managed to stabilize the ship, so it's not sinking anymore. That's good. There's a lot of heavy cruisers left still. Yeah, what if I go this way to force them to turn the other way and I go this way with my battleship so they will run into him?
How to decrypt CAC? What? What do you mean? What do you mean decrypt? You're wondering what it means? doing okay so if you wonder what the mean ca is cruiser armored heavy cruiser and cl which they're none left because they're all sunk is cruiser light Ooh. one of our own torpedoes just definitely did i think yeah that's unfortunate yeah cl cruiser light and bb battle big battleship or Whatever you want to call it, big boat. No problem. Oh shit, no, this guy is actually about to run into the enemy. There shouldn't be that many enemy ships left though. Now we're just chasing them down. <laughs> DJ OPU, yeah, you can never have enough PPU. They're keeping us at a pretty good distance. That's going to be difficult to uh, get them. Um, this man is very brave and is about to get torpedo. Yeah. Okay, so he got his single torpedo out, but it's going to miss. Oh, he's fucking dead. <laughs> oh, well, he'll slow him down, so we'll be able to catch him up with them uh, with their other boats. Uh, no, Automod will uh, nuke you, unfortunately, unless it's a Twitch, uh, Twitch link. Maybe YouTube? No, it's only Twitch, I think. Or it might actually nuke everything now, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we got a bit too close. Um. So, our heavy cruisers are gonna... Yeah, that's not good. See, this is what happens when you run a game at 3 times speed. It goes tits up very quickly. Oh, no, really? Hasn't he had enough? Yeah, San Pedro is sinking. Uh, no, uh, no escaping that. Are we gonna send torpedoes in return or? How is the San Pedro still the leader? I'm getting confused. Okay, slow down. Me, yes. Yeah, this good links would most definitely get nuked. Um, am I allowed to take the San Francisco out now? No. <sighs> I could really, 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 really need this boat now being on, like... No. Nope. I really need you now. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it seems to be a bug dead zone, unfortunately. Like, like San Pedro still being the leader of, even though he's not in that line anymore. It seems to have completely bugged out. Turn around that way. They're running low on AP shells now as well. That one hurts. Yeah, there's a lot of funky uh, looking stuff. Yeah, seems like it, it could be because it's a old save, um, and there's been a few updates since. Okay, now it's managed to realize what's going on with these boats. I can bring them back in a fight. Oh, fuck. I didn't check if he had an ass torpedo. But I think we'll be alright. It's not gonna sink us. Unless we go ahead of. Uh, get alongside him and he will be able to send more torpedoes at us. Like the idiot we are. <laughs> Thankfully, we stop real quick. Okay, we're just gonna stop completely. Stop completely and shoot him. H E the fuck out of him. For the dead pirates to be in start. Yeah, it seems like it. Dead men tell no tales, so he's not letting us command properly. Okay, now I have combined all these boats. Can I set you to follow BB me? <laughs> no one high explosive ammo. Well, we'll be alright. That guy's fucking dead. I got the Catalina. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna turn this way and go the other way now and disengage. I think we've sunk more than enough of them. I don't know what the fuck this guy's doing though. Like, where the fuck are you going? He's the leader, but also not. Okay, well, he's fucking dead then. He's gonna continue on that course. No, yeah, I can't control him anymore. Not at all. Oh, well, it's just an old heavy cruiser. Oh, he's going to be dead. Fucking hell, those hurt. This is what you get from all the fucking listening to me.
Oh, he's been. Now he's been made the leader. Brilliant. That was a mistake. Can we touch? Nope. Okay, so this battle line is bugged. But that's my only battle line. <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, we're just gonna. Go very slowly. I think this is about to run away. Yeah. I'll try or I'll let them run away or whatever. Are you gonna retreat? That could potentially work. Though, I think they're still following the Burgos guy one. Yeah, they're still following Burgos and he's sinking. Hello, Wolf. Good evening. Don't tell me the French are gonna get cocky now and circle us and shoot at us. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Very broken. <laughs> ah, now it's managed to switch uh, this ship. Midday hair, good evening. Ah, it's evening hair, it's 8 o'clock. Yeah, it's half uh, half nine. But yeah, good midday then. Yeah, they get, they're getting cocky. The French are getting cocky now. Okay, we will sail over there and shoot and sink you then. If we have to. So, are they capable of figuring out... Oh, they said they're following boats that are sinking? Ah. Hmm. Okay, it's gonna be BB me and Geronimo. We're gonna take up uh actually no, we might they might be running away now. Actually, no, go that direction but slow down. Does mean that anybody else who's figured out how to follow people are going to f catch up with you. Are they turning? Yeah, I think they're just gonna continue turning circles around us. We gotta close to closer distance and sink them because otherwise it's gonna take forever and we are running out of ammo on our 12 inches now, secondaries we can just unload with You know, what the fuck are you? St yeah, BB San Francisco is just going straight off to the distance now. Okay, they can do 20 knots. They can keep us at a distance. But we just need to be close enough. Bridge on the rear deck. I do that. There's a lot of um, a lot of holes in this game that let you do that. I just had to finesse it a little bit. It's something that I do quite often, actually. Um, not in this uh, this type, uh, but several other ones. I do that.
I think it make him look makes him look pretty cool. Stuka? I don't know what you mean. What's the Stuka? Do you mean Stuka? percent chance of hitting. I know better, bro. My day has been pretty, uh, pretty all right. I hope yours has been as well. Okay, we're gonna wait until we're about to reload. And now we will slow down to, to our cruising speed so we get the accuracy bonus. Nope. Ah, 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 we did hit him. Fuck you. I'm running out of AP real quick though. Where are you going? This dude, I have no idea what the equivalent will be. Oh, ricochet, unfortunate. How many French hot ups are still floating? I think it's just these two. Um, unless some of them have run away. I think maybe there's like a destroyer that's been uh, able to run away. But uh, these guys are getting cocky. Uh, when I try to make uh, contact, they start circling and just shoot at us from a distance. So we're... Uh, we're in fuck em up mode. Okay, next time we fire the main guns, I'm gonna do a turn in to get closer. Partial pen and fire. The more damage we manage to do to them, the slower they're gonna be, so the easier it's gonna be for us to uh, catch up. This is the Maiden China version of the warships. I suppose it's, uh, it's a very different game. Uh, but it is quite, quite fun. How did we lose all our accuracy? They did that turn just to throw all our accuracy out of the window. So we might want to switch to that guy and switch to armor piercing because if we can hit him in the broadside there, that's gonna hurt. That will slow down as well. Damn it, he blocked it. Yeah, no more of some steam. This is fun. Yeah, no, took it seriously though. Oh yeah, no. It's you take this game as seriously as you want to. Like people do, or battleships only runs, or the beta bot only runs, or I um, had one where I made only Nelson-esque ships where the bridge is on the back and all the guns are in the front. You know things like that. It's uh, yeah, it's a sandbox where you can do whatever the hell you want. Some issues hit again now. Okay, now we have aimed. It's getting very close now, so. If we then turn off the secondaries and only let the main guns shoot. Oh, close. Let's give him a play when I had enough war thunder. Yeah, that's fair. It's, it's also the same thing for me, like, I don't want to play War Thunder, I don't want to play all the warships, I don't want to play Skull and Bones or anything else. So, you know what, I'll just fuck around in this. Which is always pretty fun. Okay, we'll just have to continue shooting, because we need to hit him. There you go, I looked. Okay, his steering is damaged, he's flooding. 
If I can get like the rare turtle as well, that would be brilliant. That would really help. Only have two AP shells left though. We have no AP shells left though. Oh, there's people in enjoying it. It's not that popular of a game. It doesn't lend itself too much to streaming, I think. No, just shoot him. Just with everything you've got. Fire everything. Take him out. hard so we can get the rear guns on. Seven inch guns should be able to do some penetrations as well and damage them. Two inch guns are f and seven inch guns are getting pretty accurate now. That's pretty good. We are desperately low on 12 inch ammo though. We have to break contact. Though it has just occurred to me as well that what we can do is just press leave battle and let the auto resolve finish it instead of wasting time. But it's personal. Don't torpedo us, don't torpedo us, don't torpedo us, don't torpedo us. Straighten out. These are the last 12 inch shells we have. Turn off the secondaries to get us the most amount of uh, accuracy we can. And we hit, but that's it. No more 12 inches. Then we can just turn away and speed up. No torps. Uh, not on a battleship, no. Uh, I have on the heavy cruiser here, but... The range is just atrocious, so that might as well not. Okay, you, uh... Billy, uh, you live to fight another day. So we managed to use all our 12-inch ammo. Huh. Yeah, the 12-inch guns are just... Deactivated. <laughs> Ramming speed? No, we're not gonna do that. Uh, it's 1907 or 1908 is what it is at the moment. Okay. Hmm. Right, so we lost 2,800 men, they lost 15,000. Um, victory points undecided. Undecided? Really? How the fuck is that undecided? <laughs> bias, yeah, damn right, it's French bias. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, that was easy. Huh. No, we're we're gonna continue fighting. Cause that means we're winning. Defeat, really? I mean, we got 96,000 victory points, they got 24,000. I think that means it's a victory. And we lost primarily destroyers, and they lost a lot more. Hmm. Okay, cool. No, we need the... Uh, we need uh, the shipbuilding capacity. Okay, so that's which... Yeah, that was this uh, task force. It ain't in great shape. So you will move over there and take over for it. You will move to Barcelona and get some repairs done. And you will also move in here and protect Mallorca. You are just going to stay there. And you will split. So one BB, one, two, three, four heavy cruisers, three light cruisers, one DD, three TBs. You want to play the campaign poetry at the time? It's pretty fun. Because, like, you have to, you know, use what you got. Actually, here's an idea. We'll refit the, um, the two battleships. If I haven't deleted the blueprint, I might have. So you can get some Discord pings. Mm -hmm. Oh, they replaced their Admiral. That's fun. Oh, we are going to be not feasting because they're all damaged. Okay, so we sunk some of them. Not really fast enough. <laughs> I'm taking a song quest? No. I am playing my playlist and I'll keep it at that. Um, no, we do have BB Norton, so we will. Wait. View. Oh, hi, Ritsu. Sorry, I didn't see it was you. Hello. How are you doing? But yes, I am not French. I am the Zip Spanish. Okay, I lowered some settings and god this game is looking difficult. When War Thunder? Yes. Um Doing good? Glad to hear it. Good stuff. Let's do a like full refit of this thing. Clear. There you go. So we have induced boilers, multiple steam expansion, auxiliaries, new shaft, giggity, better armor, better on the top, double hulls, white flood, and citadel. And then we're gonna have good front armor. Can I put you in the middle? Yes, but that's going to be awfully tight with the funnel. Mm. Okay. I'm having fun. I'm having quite a lot of fun, actually. Okay, we'll put you there. That should just fit. No? Yes? That, should, that fits. Uh, we don't need any more. That's cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I can't put Babette on, that's unfortunate. Ooh, ooh! I cooked 13 inch guns 
Yes, please. Just use oars. Yeah, instead of having casemate guns, we're gonna have oars at the side. And secondary guns. Mark three, four inch guns. Can I put you in the top? No. Okay, I'll put you all over the side then. Never mind, I won't. Um. Nope. You know, maybe instead we'll only have smaller guns because of the limitations of this hull. Yeah, let's do that. I can't have them in the top there because it won't fit. <laughs> Why can't I put anything on top of here though? Uh, no, there I can. Uh, I can only put the one barrel ones. That's a bit unfortunate. Tories on Tories crossing the fashion line. Yeah, so this is gonna be. Oh, hang on, how the fuck did I end up with a port weight offset? Ah, because you haven't deleted properly like you should have. There you go. And then we're gonna increase the four belt a little bit to balance it. There you go. We're gonna have Coincidence Rangefinder and Radio, and we are just under the uh, max weight. Cool. <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> When it rains, it fucking pours, doesn't it? Yeah, it damn right does. I'll be doing all right, have. So, right, what? These are not the heavy cruisers we have. Oh well. Wait, so fat? Uh, cause yes. <laughs> Oof, sorry they had that uh, have. And... Refit ship. I don't think it's made it back into port yet. Are you gonna get super fine turrets yet? No, it's 1909. Ah, it's trying to get into port, but the game is being retarded and not letting me go in. It's bugging. It's got a like, glitch. Um, but we can then start giving some more money to the budget as well. Uh, actually, how are we doing on the shipbuilding capacity? Oh, we got loads, so we can build some more. We can build some more of the Unfrencher. We'll build six more. That's probably going to pull this over. No, it doesn't. Brilliant. Fantastic. It's 909 and it flows, that's an achievement, yeah. Uh, the enemy capital ships are heavily damaged uh, from previous battle, we can approach and uh, destroy them. If I remember correctly, ours is as well. That's fine. Well, the result is what happens. Ah, light damage, damn it. <laughs> Why, we got defeated at the course again? God damn it! Hmm. Okay, can we organize a naval operation somewhere else? Just going to northern Algeria. We don't have the tonnage to do southern France. So yeah, let's do northern Algeria because they're doing like a attack from there. So we'll take you. 
Then we'll view down there. And you, and move you down there. That should be more than enough. Oh, there's some fleets here now. Light cruiser. Ah, they're not going to go anywhere because I'm blocking uh, the, the straight. Cool. Uh, it could be. It depends. I'm the Spanish, so they might have they have a slightly different like progression tree or whatever. Oh, no, I've gone over. Brilliant. Wait, what? How the fuck did I go over then? Probably because I'm repairing. Yeah, I'm repairing my fat ass. It's going to take 10 months to repair. That's not the problem. It's many more that are repairing. That's what it is. Suspend. Suspend. Okay, that'll be good. There is a lot of numbers I could make words out of the algebra. Um, yes. Yeah, if I remember correctly, the uh, campaign has like a sort of progression thing where some nations get some um, types of modules or whatnot researched earlier. Uh, you can also focus it, like you can press, you know, you can tell it where or what you want to uh, focus on. Uh, but in general, like if I say, if I want hull construction, then that doubles the research time for anything else. And if I then focus on cruiser design, it makes it even worse for anything else. So it's best to not do it, I find. Uh, yeah, Hang on, I'm gonna move you as well. We got more than enough tonnage. Yeah, we love the sweet, Josh. Sweets are great. I mean, the women are. The men can fuck off. It's better than the French. It's noble cause. Exactly, yeah. We're gonna fuck up the French because it is our nation's main paragraph. Yes, it's written in our constitution. We need to fuck up the French. Okay, how are we doing? Right. Resume, resume, resume. Everything's repairing, everything's building. We have a low crew. We might be running out of crew. Now we got a, got a bit. Okay, we're good. Hello, Mr. Bum. Yeah, since you will be fine. I suppose if you know what you're doing, you can focus on something and uh, take advantage of that. Isn't that the every constitution, even the French one? You know what? Yeah, you make a very valid point. I think it's just the general human right. <laughs> I love how everybody's shitting it. Oh. Poor. Poor. Torpedo boats. You know, if I auto-resolve it, it's gonna end up with some of my boats getting sunk. No, actually not. Light and heavy. Hmm. Hey, we got Northern Algeria. That was that was fucking quick. Holy shit. Okay, we will then do Corsica again. And they're not gonna be able to stop us this time. That went well. Twin heavy damage ship. Does the float holding is good? Like what? I think it's like as long as it's still floating and able to drive forwards at least one at at least one knot, then it's fine. Hold on, Denmark has got fucking boats. That's new. Minor nations actually having fleets out. That's new. Huh. I did not idea the French deserve to be knocked down a peg or two. Ah. Uh. I love it when people bond together with hating on the French. <laughs> Actually, can I just do that and then you should automatically add crew to shit? 
Ah, the real Pew Pew is uh, getting built next month. Or finished construction, that rather. It's not like it's just common sense. <laughs> I get a text message. No, fuck off. Okay, we have <laughs> hundred. We need fourteen thousand tons. We have a hundred and ten thousand. I think we'll be all right. Okay, uh, now we have the actually no the real PPU is still commit yeah he's commissioning two more months for it to commission. Well, this is taking a little while, isn't it? Oh, poor torpedo boat. Really? Didn't even manage to fucking sink him? Spanish Empire pushed back France offensive influence to Equatorial Guinea. I mean, lost it for France. 26,000. Cool. Pushed back, eh? Where? Prince Gabon gets spent over to Prince Equatorial Guinea. Okay, so they're really desperately trying. I don't know, PMH. Yeah, the torpedo boat just yeeted off his torpedoes. To go faster. Chance to succeed 69%. Nice. But what if I move? 1BB for 1BB1. What if I move you guys all the way over there? And you take all those over there. And how are we doing now? So we uh, have nearly 100k in shipbuilding capacity. So we will build... I think we'll just build uh, more of the unfrencher. Because that's going to be pretty good. Yeah. I think we can actually do more. We can build another set. Yes! Perfect. Oh. Not perfect. Have they done it? You can now do... Oh my god, that is amazing! <laughs> Thank fuck! You can now select everything and click suspend at once. Oh my god. <laughs> that is... So good. Finally. Uh, suspended building, we will suspend all of you as well. To get control of the finances, I don't know how them on modern. You can do that for Seku, however, oh well. That's a bit, ah, uh, that's a bit unfortunate. I tend to not have that issue. I suppose that feature is probably most for 
mothballing a ship here and the ship there instead of like entire fleets at once. But still, the fact that you can do it with like scrapping and suspending and um, yeah, because it's such a pain in the ass to uh, do it one by one. Hey, we got Corsica as well. Amazing. Okay, so... We are then going to move... Oh, fuck. We're gonna start moving the fleets back a little bit. You're gonna go back to Barcelona. See, Florin, 9,000, 9,000. Okay, so you guys are then gonna go back to... Valencia is where the other fleets are gonna spawn. You're gonna go to Malaga. And you guys are just gonna stay out there, I think. How many tons are you, actually? All right. And actually, I'm gonna take... Really? Come on. A couple of DDs at a light cruiser. I'm gonna park that in each of these. That's a heavy cruiser, but oh well. <laughs> nah, you're missing out. If you're not playing uh, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, you're missing out. And then we're just gonna lower the crew training for a turn. So all the ships can get back in, into port, so we can start limiting the expenses. <laughs> Most of this will pass to be put on back to roads. So I'd rather have yeah, people being unhappy with me. <clears throat> okay, then Final Land Law is mainly caused by the activities being as well near to the port, so they are expected to participate on the import defend missions. For the world, the power protection is reduced to the minimum, so the enemy can more easily blockade you if you want to ships to defend. Yeah, we're going to do a defend for all of them that are in ports. Right, we're positive. We're making money. I suppose we might have bitten over a bit too much. with all those boats. Yeah, that's better. Then we're just gonna... just about break even. Though we're gonna have to uh, get the government to bail us out. I'm supposed, people are supposed to get smarter with age. Yeah, why are politicians such dumb cunts then? Hmm? Think about that. Negative fifty percent chip flaws. Oh, that's good. Brilliant. Mm. <laughs> okay. If you want to call us very province, press a little scroll in the top right. Ah, oh. that's kind. Of, yeah, that's kind of neat. Thank you. You have the help. And report bug and set things. Okay, that's actually kind of neat, yeah. Okay, I think you also can go back into port, can't you? Because we don't really need you to be out there. As long as they're not blockading us. And you as well can just go back in port, can't you? And we just have a BB. Fucking it. You will stay out though, however, because we want, don't want them to come in there. Then I suppose we could. Um, they're starting to build up some boats here. We will move the real pew pew. And together with him.
We have a bunch of DDs and light cruisers. And yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Age doesn't cure the you know, change the fact that people are cunts. There is no cure for being a cunt. Ah, we should continue fighting until it forces us to uh, say the peace treaty. Yes, there's uh, army conflicts that we don't really have anything to do with. Okay. So, three more months for them to build. <laughs> Clash of fleets. A torpedo boat. You call a torpedo boat a fleet. Okay. So it's not. Previous fight is not over. Oh, well, that might not go well for me. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, the alliances with France are breaking. That's cool. Yeah, they're not doing too well. Um, 500 tons of ship is needed. Um, yeah. My total tonnage isn't even close. So, as I'm about to start fighting the Germans, I might want to try and avoid that. Let go round the world, world, world. Put down my things as a negative six percent gun reload time. That's nice. One month, then the those seals will be built. So that these are class. Oh, these are the unfriendly class already in Mallorca. Oh, that's overweight, of course. Actually, move. Okay, so those are my unfrencher class. Then I will move. Like we said, like we said, like we said, back into port. <laughs> Great, I'm glad you like it. I mean, should probably start like mothballing uh, some of the nah. Like even the even like the li old light cruiser and heavy cruisers can be handy, just with tonnage and them being ex expendable. But it might not be such a good idea to uh, throw away people. Do we take volume requests? <laughs> no, because if I fuck with it, I'll forget about it. Better engines. Oh, battle cruiser. Ooh. Because uh, it's not that easy to take control of it. Uh, Vara. I'm not sure I even can. Don't think I can actually. Um, nudge events into that. So we have the real pew pew. 
and we will go over there. Good night, Halloween. Have a good evening. To be honest, I have a lot of. No, we do have a lot of DDs. It's just to beat about. We could just start mothballing them though, since if you mothball them, other nations will ask to buy them. You reduce the money they cost quite a lot. Oh yeah, I have a massive smooth brain. But I think it's also, it's been three hours, so I think I'm going to call it there. And I will see you tomorrow for, uh, actually, Lethal Company, which is going to be good. So yeah, you take care, and I will see you then. Good night.